I'm currently in pre-production on a brand new movie, a feature film called Casey's Favorite Song, and I've been talking about it on my second YouTube channel. Now, I'm shooting that on a traditional camera, actually primarily a red Komodo, but I am going to incorporate some mobile shot footage using my 14 Pro Max. Mainly, I'm going to do some underwater shots and potentially some macro shots. I think it's a good way to incorporate mobile into a higher end production, almost like a crash cam in a way, because putting a red Komodo in a underwater housing or even do a macro, you can definitely do it, but using a phone, it's so much easier. And using an app like Filmic Pro that shoots ProRes Log is going to make that whole workflow much easier. And speaking of Filmic Pro, yeah, I know a lot of you guys haven't subscribed and I totally get it, I really do but they're adding some really cool stuff to the app. So today I wanna to check out one of those brand new features. All right, so I'm in Filmic Pro and I'm using the latest updated version. And this version adds a really cool feature that you can now import LUTs. And I've mapped the LUT button to this destination on my home screen here on the screen. Right now I don't have any LUTs in there. And so the first thing I'm gonna do though, the reason you would want to see LUTs in Filmic Pro is if you're shooting log. Right now I'm just shooting regular 10-bit video with the natural profile. So I'm going to go to ProRes, I'll do 422, and then I'll do log V3 plus. And so that is Filmic Pro's version of log. And the thing is when you're shooting log, and this is really on any kind of camera, is you don't see the image that you're going to actually edit with later. You're seeing the log image. Now on higher end cameras or monitors, you can apply a LUT and then that way you see what you're going to get. That typically will help you do better with your exposure. You've never been able to do that in Filmic Pro until now. And so that would be what the log looks like. And just in case you wanna see, that would be what it would look like when it was graded. And so it can definitely make a difference when you're shooting. And so the ability to import LUTs will allow you to either preview it or you can bake it in. So let me show you what we gotta do now. Go to the imaging panel, open LUT, and you've got burn in or preview only. We're gonna use preview only, but the first thing we need to do is actually load one. And so I've created a folder in my files directory called LUTs. And all I did was airdrop these LUTs here from my computer to my phone. You could do that or you could bring them in from Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever you wanted to do, but you do have to get them on your phone to make this work. And I'm using my LUT packs. I have specific LUTs designed for Log V3 Plus, which is ProRes Log. I also have them for traditional 10-bit HEVC, and then I have other LUTs designed for traditional footage, like shooting in natural, that just makes it a little more cinematic, takes away the hard edge. But for this demonstration, the main time you'd probably use a LUT is when you're shooting Log. And so the first one I'll go with is my standard look. So when you import it, you bring up the nickname, and I'm just gonna call this D-Log. So now I've got that LUT there, and you can see instantly when I applied it, it's crushing that footage just because I'm shooting in natural. So if I go to Log V3 Plus, now it looks normal. So you can preview it with it full screen. You can do half screen like that. And so now you're seeing the original on this side and what the LUT looks like on this side. Or you can do a diagonal. For setting exposure or just looking at colors, it might be nice to do this, the split screen. But you know, when you're shooting, I would probably stick to this. And the important part of course is when you are shooting, you wanna make sure that you don't bake this look in. That way you do have more latitude in post-production because that in a way defeats the purpose of using a LUT in my opinion. Now, if you're doing something quick and you wanna use a creative LUT, then you could bake it in, shoot log and still get the benefits of log, bake it in, but then you wouldn't be able to do much with it in post. So for social media or something, it might be cool. Because for example, I've got creative LUTs in here as well. This one's called Warhol. So now I go there and you can see that it's a vintage look. So if I go back, that's the D-Log and that's the vintage look, switching between them. And again, right now I've got it set up as preview, preview only, or you can go burn in burn in will actually bake that look in. More times than not, I would not do that. But it is pretty cool to be able to preview the look you wanna use. 
I mean, for me, shooting log, one reason you do it obviously is for more dynamic range, especially on a traditional camera. You do get more DR using the iPhone, but it's nothing like a traditional camera shooting log. However, it is easy to manipulate it in post, especially shooting ProRes. So that's why I don't wanna bake in a look, but it's cool to preview the looks here. And then you can switch between them here. And then if you wanna add another one, you go back here and you can do up to seven, I believe, seven looks. I have one called Velveteen that I like. And then I've got one more sample I'll show, and that's a punchy look. So there's Punch, Velveteen, Warhol, it's a vintage look, and just a standard D-Log. So this is a great new feature from Filmic Pro. And again, I realize a lot of you guys have not subscribed to Filmic Pro, and I totally get it. But one thing they are doing is adding a lot of cool stuff for those of us that do or you guys that are considering it. And I mentioned using my LUTs. If you'd like to check them out, go to my website at iphoneographers.tv. I've got LUTs for the original Log V1, Log V2, and now Log V3 and Log V3 Plus. Additionally, I have LUTs for using cinematic mode and shooting standard iPhone video. Link is in the description. So check out the new LUT import feature in the latest version of Filmic Pro. Thanks for watching. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.